Today, George Washington University installed a new vending machine that sells emergency contraception. This comes after the Dobbs ruling that overturned Roe v. Wade, and it comes months after months of national conversation about reproductive rights. News 4's Amy Cho spoke with the student leaders who pushed for this new machine. When students at George Washington University go to the vending machines in the student center, there's a new product they can now buy, emergency contraception pills, also known as Plan B. After Roe v. Wade was overturned, we felt a lot of passion in making sure that people felt supported on this campus. Student leaders Nahara Karau and Isa Said have been working for months to get GW to install the machine. They surveyed 1,500 students and say the response was overwhelmingly positive. Not a lot of pushback. The only concern was about discreetness and how we could make sure that students felt that it wasn't a very public way to go and get some type of contraceptive. Rao says that's why they put the machine in the basement. It also includes other wellness products like Tylenol and tampons. Getting something accomplished like this is kind of like a legacy for me because I'm a senior, so I'm graduating. So now people will know like, oh, those girls did that. <laughs> <laughs> this list shows some of the other schools around the country that also have contraceptive vending machines. Here at GW, the Student Association president tells News 4, this machine likely wouldn't have been possible in his home country of Burkina Faso. And West Africa often time it's a taboo to be able to process uh, those on those uh, contraceptive products overall, such as Plan B. He says coming to the U.S. showed him a different perspective and that he's passionate about reproductive rights. So I believe that every anyone who wants to be able to um, to have to have contraceptive products should be able to do so on their own. The pills currently cost twenty five dollars, and Zito Wemba says they're exploring options to lower that cost in the future. Amy Cho, News Four. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas was previously on the faculty at GW. He stepped down from a law seminar he was supposed to teach this past fall after student leaders called for his termination when he voted to overturn Roe v. Wade.